Oh, hello everybody. Um, that's the second video about uh, showing or demoing. My uh, my workflow is Vim. Uh, I had a task at work <coughs> involving commenting PHP functions, and the the first video I've done was explaining the tasks. So if you don't know exactly what I was or what I had to do, uh, maybe you could check the first video first. But the first video is a little bit more advanced. Uh, it's involving uh, Vim script. But today uh, we will uh, just uh, see basic Vim editing and a bit of regular expressions specific to Vim to find uh, functions into classes. So <coughs> it happens that sometimes we have a class with a few functions inside. So let's have a class here my class and let's take a couple of a couple of functions in there and then that and let's just close the function I mean the class let's close the class so this class has got a few functions in there for that particular case I had to in include comments regarding the um, the the, the 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 methods in that class so for example if for that particular class this is a great class so i needed a description this is a great class i needed the list of methods i will leave a blank and i needed a special case thing uh okay hector oh let me let me sideload my uh, my uh, my script with my comments and I needed uh, you see l01 whatever and I then I did a uh, blank line another uh, tag and I was done I needed here just below the method uh, list, I needed to include the list of the methods in that class. So, to to manage that, I I could have used I think uh, something a, a plugin like a tag bar, because the project is uh, I generated the tag files, but uh, I was not exactly thinking that far, and I was more thinking Vim editing or more vanilla we can say. So I tend to use plugins at the minimum anyway and trying to, to start from that and going going ahead with my tasks. So in that case, how did I count the number of functions or in that case methods uh, into that particular class? Well, I will show you today um, a special atom we can use in regular expressions that are particular to Vim. So the the first thing to do is I will add, uh, I will add a, a marker here, so MA, pressing MA adds an A marker, so anywhere I am in the file I can go back with single quote A, and I go back to the head line, to the head of the line with the marker A on it. So I can go to the, the last uh, bit of my class, what I've done just here, uh, anywhere on the line where I am, if I want to go to the end of the block, block for me in that case uh, are enclosed by the, the curly brace. Uh, I have a, a small binding, very easy, that makes F uh, curly brace and percent, uh, not percent, yes percent, uh, percent to go automatically to the end of any function. So if I am in that spot, I can just do my binding and I go to the bottom. Um, to the closing brace of the function. It's very useful. I can show you the mapping exactly. This is a leader fn, uh, fe, sorry, for function end. And I have it in visual as well. But yes, as you can see, it's just finding the first occurrence of the curly brace and jumping to the opposite uh, brace, which works like a charm. I'm using that like 20 times a day. It's crazy how, how useful is it. Um, so, I, I, I had a A mark on the line, 20, 20 lines ahead, uh, not ahead actually, above, and right now I am 
uh, at the line number 94 and I need a second uh, mark which will be B and B. So I can go back and forth with those two, uh, between those two markers. So I did that uh, because I want to use the same trick I've shown in the first video. I want to use the vingrep command to count the occurrence of the word function. So in that case, if I do that again, if I do a vingrep of the word function, uh, I need a word delimiter, so I think a word boundary is like this in Vim. So I need function to be stopped, uh, simply because I have all my functions names contain the, the word function. So I want to be sure I, I have the function word only. Let's try that. Uh, J, because I don't want to jump to the first occurrence, and CW, because I want to see the, the, the list of functions. Oh, it doesn't work. Let me, let me think. Uh, Oh, uh, I forgot to, to look in inside that particular file. Oof, and I, I can't spell anyway. Uh, game is better. That's the same thing. So yeah, and uh, this is where functions occurred. The word function occurs in the file. But I want that to be restricted to the class content. So because I have my markers, I will use two um, atoms. So if you don't know what they are, uh, I encourage you to see, oops, let me show you the help for you. I think this is simply atom, slash atom or patterns atom. And those are the atoms from the Vim help uh, that you can use, uh, stuff like this, uh, to, to use uh, in your Vim regular expressions. Let's check with another atom pattern atoms. Yes, those ones. Those ones are interesting. Uh, you might have a want to have a look. Uh, the ones. This is the the, 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 the word binding. Uh, I use that one to the end of the word. Um, this one is also very interesting. Uh, what, what what else do we have? An interesting one. Yeah, we start to get the cool stuff here. Uh, percent. Uh, those slash percent is a very interesting. Um, atom because you can match uh, position in the file and who says position it could be a virtual line uh, it could be a virtual column it could be a tag uh, I mean a mark I've put the mark a and B so if we check just, just a little bit here we go matches with the position of mark M but if you want to meet match before the position of mark M you just use that tag and if you want to match after that position uh, you can use uh, this uh, greater than sign or this uh, smaller or less than sign. So let's let's try to see in that in that file we can see on the quick fix list um, there are fourteen uh, functions. But I know because it's a small function, it's a small class. I have only four of them in that current uh, class. So the thing I can do, I can do the same search command. But this time I look for only words, uh, only uh, masks into uh, what's that person? Yes, it's person. Single quote because I want to look for a mark. I want it it after. Oh, sorry, after. Oh, it was I think like this. After mark A, looking for the word function, and it has to be before. It should be before the mark B. And here we go. We have four functions between those two markers. Let me show you again the, the regular expression. Uh, you should be able to see it now because I've left a small space between my window. So the watermark of the recording software should uh, just come below. And you should be able to see everything I type in the command line now. And yeah, that's globally it. So how did I feel in right now? Let's do some Vim editing. How did I feel um, the method list? Well, I just go into the quick list. I just copy everything, Young Shift J, go back in there and paste. So what I have is the exact text content of the quick list. And very interesting stuff. You can just do right now. Uh, you can just do some cutting. Uh, so I suppose we can just do uh, visual selection and then some truncating. Oh, because it's very easy, let's do it with only a, uh, a block selection. 
and you can go three lines on the right you can look for a function go to the end of the word with e one more character and just press x um, so we already have the name of the method um, and then we can just reselect the same block of lines you could just now you uh, do a substitute substitute everything stop containing one or more space actually zero or more space sometimes you don't have spaces with the curly brace at the end of the line and replace it with nothing okay here we go so we have the methods uh, list ready for um, the command block and after it just make another visual block shift insert space uh, asterisk space uh, a small dash space and you're good to go so yeah that was the trick for today and that's an easy one uh, that was a little bit of editing and how to use the quick fist in another in another way because it's just text listing so you can use it this way i suppose with a tag bar plugin you could get your c tags uh, file for that particular class and you could do the same manipulation going to the tag tag bar content and copy the few lines of the functions that you want and it might be easier and more accurate but well in the simple case like this and not installing too many plugins that's uh, still viable, I think.